This is a very good friend of mine and a very funny, funny guy. Give it up for the pride of Arkansas, Josh Graves. <laughs> Hey, you guys, keep it going for Gavin. Keep it going for him one time. Appreciate you guys coming out. My name is Josh Graves, and I realized something the other day. To get real authentic Mexican food in this town, you got to go to the rougher neighborhoods, the heart of the city. I'm talking the ghetto, people. Tell you what, the other day my friend called me. He was like, hey, I just got mugged at a supermercado at 44th Ave. And my first reaction was, oh, my God. They have the best flour tortillas there. <laughs> Can you pick up a pack on the way home? After you get through filling out the report and whatnot, just grab some of those. And I swear, like, sometimes you'll go in, it's just like going into Mexico. One greeted me the other day, he was like, Como estas, minchi gringo? Esta comida es muy delicioso. Nos tenemos muchas especialidades. And the funny thing was, I understood exactly what he was saying. I'm not fluent or anything, but I've shopped at Food City a time or two. <laughs> There's this little place on Mojave Road, it's called Carolinas. And I love these sopapillas. But every time I go there, there's a dead crackhead in the parking lot. <laughs> Look, now I'm not trying to stereotype and say that every single Mexican place is in a rough neighborhood. What I am saying is if you walk in the joint and there's no ceiling fan, and you see a couple roaches, the green chili's probably on point. <laughs> I recently uh, went back to Texas to visit, visit some of my kin. And I went to my nine-year-old's uh, uh, birthday party. It's at the local shooting range. <laughs> now, some people would find that appalling, but it was just like any other nine-year-old birthday party. You had cake, animal balloons, and guns. <laughs> It was a cookie cake with yellow frosting. It was shaped just like a banana clip. <laughs> For entertainment, we had clowns, played games, and guns. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and lie like things can get out of hand a couple times. My, my cousin has a playmate. He's autistic, sweet kid. He's a really good blackjack player. I turn my back for one second. Apparently, this kid's off of his meds. He starts pistol whipping the shit out of Tickles the Clown. <laughs> then it even got escalated to another level. They started playing their own games, like bust the cap in the donkey's ass. <laughs> and duck, duck. No, seriously, someone's got a 38 special. Get the fuck on the floor! <laughs> Goose. <laughs> it's a good time. I went, to the I went to the gas station today, and I was trying to use the bathroom, and the attendant wouldn't let me get the key until I gave up my license to her. That's right. You heard correct. I had to put up collateral to take a piss at Circle K. <laughs> Comedy's really growing. And I thought, who would even steal bathroom keys? Then I was searching the web, America's Most Wanted. Apparently some asshole has stolen over 200 bathroom keys across the nation. Now, and why is it always a weapon? Like it's a nunchuck or a, or a crowbar? It's like I can relieve myself and carjack someone as well. I thought it was ridiculous until I had to battle a tweaker one day for rice to the hand dryer. Then I beat his ass with the key. It was attached to a hubcap, and then I stole it. I took it to a chop shop in South Phoenix and pawned it. Coincidentally, there's a little canteen around the corner. Best hand rolled tacos I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I tell you what, my absolute favorite thing, favorite thing to watch on TV is Antique Roadshow. Because I tell you what, it, it, I'm, I'm not, I, don't have, I don't have a college degree, but I can eyeball any Japanese artifact and tell you if it's worth over or under $100. <laughs> or an eight ball of Coke. Um, and not to mention, today I found out that the, that the uh, tea set that my grandmother passed down to me really is a piece of shit. <laughs> but on the other hand, my vintage 1960 Marilyn Monroe pocket pussy is worth a fortune. <laughs> if only I hadn't broken that seal. <laughs> hey, my name was Josh Graves. You guys had a lot of fun.